Hi everyone, it's Martin from Preact again. Just a short video um, explaining how Dynamics 365 can integrate with Outlook. It's quite common that you might want to work within the database, but be with, be in Outlook, you know, managing your emails and things like that. I'm going to show you um, how we can do that via Outlook web app, whether that's on a mobile device, whether you're doing it on a browser, and also how it looks on a desktop client. So it's quite common we get asked. You know, is the experience very different? And there's a few things that are slightly different which we can cover. Um, just good starting point, really. Um, obviously, the Outlook web app. Um, if I click on an email, by default, you won't see anything on the right hand side to start with. As soon as you plug it in, you can see if you click on the more actions here, there's a little Dynamics 365 tab down here. Click on this. And then it basically links this email that you're looking at in your inbox to something in the database. In this scenario, it's gone away, it's found Penny's email address, it's found who she is, it's telling us that it's Penny, she's a contact, she's a CEO, there's a few phone numbers, she works for this organization, she's currently got an open opportunity. Um, in terms of what appears over here on the right hand side, it's fully configurable, so if you wanted to see more information around this, you could. If you need to click into the account here to see information around the account, you can, and it loads up all the information from the account as well. If you need to go back, you can. Um, and then of course, there's a couple other things that you can do as well, which you, you can natively do in Dynamics. So you've got the universal search up here. You can just come in here, search for anything in the system like that. You can see it's returning it results for accounts. You can see one to four results. There's contacts in there with the word test in there somewhere. We've obviously then got activities and we've got cases as well. So it works just the same way universal search works it's other than that you just need to click next over here to get to the next screens. Whereas on a bigger screen, you tend to see all four of those in one place. Um, we've then got over here the hamburger. Um, and then of course this enables you to see the different entity tables that you've put into the, the Outlook app basically. Um, by default, it's only dashboards in here, but you can put whichever entities you want in here, custom entities as well, if, if that's what you need to put in here. Um, and you can see, if I click on accounts, you get a little arrow next to it. shows you the recently viewed items that you've looked at under that entity. So these are the three recently viewed accounts I've been on. Again, you can click into each of these to see more information around that. And um, if you click on the accounts table itself, whichever entity you click into, same as Dynamics, it just then presents you with the little drop down and then you can flick between the different views that you might have. So I might need to now go and look at the key accounts view. Again, whichever ones you want to pin, you can pin them in here. Same same functionality you'd get in Dynamics. Um, and then of course the last thing when you're on here, you can see you've got the recently viewed items here. So all your favorites that you tend to pin and all your recently used as well. So if it's a key project or something you're working on, you can pin that and then you can get to it from within here. And then the last thing you can do from here is the quick create. So if you click on the plus here, you can say, okay, quickly create, and then you can enable the entities that you need to create. In this scenario, I might quickly want to create a case. So I could click on case, I could fill in some details. Again, you customize what this form looks like, it's the quick create case form, and then you click save and close, and that would create your record in the system. By default, when you click into any one of these areas, an email like that, and you've got the Dynamics tab over here, you might want to pin this as well. You can click on the pin, so that now stays there on the right-hand side. So when I click into something else, it's there at all times, basically. It's just pinning it to this view. Um, and then you can see, because it's tracking the email address like that in real time, you can see how quick it is. As soon as I click on another email, Leanne doesn't exist. So you can see Leanne Lewis is here as an unknown recipient because it's gone away and it's saying we don't recognize the email address, basically. At this point, you get the ability to go add as a contact lead or an account. And just to show you, if I flick over here to my, my desktop version, this is desktop Outlook. It's a similar thing. You can see the similar mail, but exactly the same mailbox. There's Penny, there's all the details. Again, if I unpin this to get to this, you don't click on the more actions. The only difference being here is Dynamics sits in your ribbon. So you click on here, and then you say you've got the same option here to pin it. So if we pin that there, you've got the same thing in here and all the same functionality that you just saw. Um, but I mean, let's just do this from desktop. So if I click on Leanne, you can see over here, then got the option to create a record. If I just say create as a lead for now, what it will do is it will pull through her first name, her last name, and her email address from the sender's record. You then put in your topic. So this might be um, new inquiry. 
and then you might want to just copy some information maybe from other fields that you potentially see in here like this so put a mobile number in there click save and close and by doing so what this will do is it will create the lead record to start with you can see it will say you know view record and then once it's done that give it a second or two there we go and then it will just find itself and it will say successfully tracked what that means is you can see then on your your outlook over here it says track to dynamics you can see the little icon there um, it's saying tracked once it's tracked obviously you have the ability to untrack it and all that means is you just unlink the email from your database basically um, but from here you've got the ability to go okay actually I'd like to view that record so instead of having to go and find your database and go into it you can go view in dynamics over here on the right hand side once you've done this you can then see it will load up it will take you into that individual record as you can see here all the details that you filled in for the lead and then of course on the middle section here because that email is now tracked on your timeline you get to see the email correspondence for this individual so that's how we track the emails and then if we just go back over here again it doesn't matter whether you're in sort of the outlook web app or whether you're in desktop but you can see it goes across it's across application so you can see here let's tracked now it's the same thing tracked over here um, if you want it to, and you click on the, the word track to dynamics like that, it will show you all of your emails in your inbox that have been tracked. So you can see here, you get the little icon. Um, you can see, let's search. It's just like using the search feature of Outlook, basically. If we click back here. We're now on here. Now, that's how track works. So track looks at the email address, and then it decides to track that, copy that email from your inbox, and put it into the database for everybody else who's got the right permissions to see. Now, there's often times where you need to say, okay, well, the context of this email might be about a project. It might be about an opportunity. It might be about a recent case. So this is where you can then use the set regarding option. So over here, we've tracked it, so it will always exist against the email address against Le Leanne's record. But when we click on set regarding, you then get to pick what you want in the system, what it's regarding. So you can see just by clicking on here, it'll show you all your recently viewed records. So if I want to say, okay, this is regarding the Amazon account, I could quite easily pick that. If I don't, I could search for anything in the system, the name of an opportunity. Um, I think I've got one in here called pallets or something like that. There we go, problem with pallet delivery. So you can see you can search for anything in the system. I might say, okay, it's to do with this 25 pallet delivery that's happening this week. So again, it's something that's already in the database, this opportunity. She might be referring to this or anything else that you've set up to search for, basically. And then from here, if I now go and click again, View in Dynamics, take you from your Outlook straight into your database, and it will take you into that table. So in this scenario, we're looking at opportunities and on this individual opportunity. And then you can see in here, we've got that email. So that email is now in here. So we're basically saying and telling the email where we need it to go. And that could be on any one of these tables that you have down here on the left-hand side. Because you would never generically have an email address against a quote or an order, an opportunity or a case. The emails typically sit with the contacts, accounts or the leads. So this is just saying, okay, it now needs to appear in here. From the database, if you needed to, you could quite easily open this record. And you could write your reply. You could actually do reply all, reply from here, and you could actually send your reply from the database. That's another, another bit of training that we can show you at a later date. But eventually you could send this from here. Equally, if you was in your Outlook, um, just flip back over here. You could just write your reply like you would normally, um, send your reply off, and then any subsequent replies and emails that you might then get back from say Leanne and things like that would actually feed straight into the database. If they change the subject line, then you would need to just click on it. Let me just pin that, make sure I'm pinning it. Um, you would need to um, just click on it here and then just do change regarding. So it's very common that, um, you know, if somebody emails you on a, about a support query case, um, you fix the problem. Six months later, they email you again off the same email chain, but about a different inquiry. At that point, obviously, unless you change it here, it will go in the same area that you've initially set it to go. You've got the ability to click change your garden so I could say okay I don't want it to go against that opportunity now I want it to go against this account and then you can set it against this account so then you reply to this and then any subsequent replies go wherever you tell it to basically over here so that's the email tracking capability and then of course 
we come over to our say appointments I don't know, let's pick something tomorrow say one o'clock to two o'clock click more options of course if this is just a dentist appointment something like that you would just do that you would click save and it only ends up in your outlook um, nobody else sees that if you don't want them to you've got the ability if I say now this might be um, uh, account uh, manager visit something like that over here who am I going to see let me just let's pick Leanne there we go Leanne Lewis um, you've got the ability here as well to click Dynamics 365 so as soon as we do that very similar concept how the emails work it will find the person what it finds of course you might say okay actually this is about let me just pick something quickly So I'll just do set regarding. I might say this is about, say, the Preact account. I don't need to go and find something. You can see it will say against Preact fully, uh, and then all the times and days that you specify in here, and all the other details. Of course, if you want to do a Teams meeting as well, this will integrate. There's another video we've got on that how it integrates with Teams. You can set all this in here. But effectively, it will say track pending, and then of course you send the invite out. This will then obviously go off. Send the invite to Leanne. If we then come back across here to our Dynamics we've got under activities if we just sort this on due date there we go so then you can see in here that appointment then comes across account manager visit for pre-act and appointment it's not as in real time as the emails the emails come across within milliseconds this takes about a minute to come across and sync but you can see then it comes in here synchronizes into here when we look at the um the individual person as well so this is with Leanne you're getting to build up a bit of a picture so we can see there's the initial email oh and then I can see that there's an appointment scheduled in with somebody as well so it's on this timeline again once you complete it you can complete it from here you can go in and add your notes and then say okay I've now done that um, and then that will feed straight into here um, similar thing you could have quite easily gone on here and created a new appointment say for example from the database whoever you say it's within here and whatever times and days and then it goes the other way it then ends up in your calendar in outlook providing you've got your personal preferences turned on to say that's what you want to happen um, so yeah um, appointments go to your calendar and outlook emails as you saw come in against the timeline under the activities table here you can look at all of your team's activities and everyone else's activities and then of course any of those tasks and phone calls and emails and everything else that you're pushing into the database and appointments you can see in here so if you wanted to just look at the emails that you've received you can click on this view there's already a predefined view for that if you want to see emails that every single person in your organization has received then you've got an option in there as well to say all emails received um, so yeah there you go so I've received 18 emails that I've pushed in physically from Outlook so those ones that you saw that were tracked are these ones here um, of course you've got tasks and phone calls as well tasks and phone calls are in here if I was to go in here and create a task or a phone call equally this would then end up in my task list so if you had tasks down here you'd see like this phone call or new inquiry and it's tracked to dynamics it works in the same way so tasks come across into your tasks area appointments go into your calendar and obviously your inbox will end up as an email message within the database hope that's been useful if you've got any questions around this whatsoever please feel free to get in touch many thanks bye bye